Please excuse me, little dog. Oh. Hi, guys. It has been a crazy day here in the collapse of everything, but it is a glorious moonlit autumn night here at <coughs> Bugs in a Jar Farm, <coughs> where it looks like, feels like, we're finally going to have, for the first time in 2023, we're finally going to have frost on our pumpkins tonight here in New York, baby. Uh, on Monday night, October 23rd, 2023, I did not realize it ever took this long. Then, of course, 75 degrees in a couple of days, but the first snow is due next week, so... I am on my final week at Bugs in a Jar Farm, trying to get the hell out of here, but uh, I should have time to squeeze out a couple more Chronicles of the Collapse, and I have really been remiss. I just somehow, I used to report uh, fairly regularly from our old Doomer buddy, I guess it's now called Counter Currents instead of Counter Punch. Counter Currents. And this is Robert Hunziker. Uh, kind of lost track of Robert. I think I've interviewed Robert three times. Anyway, uh, you, can, you can find several interviews I've had with journalist Robert Hunziker. Uh, not quite breaking into the mainstream media, but at least he's got countercurrents uh, attention. And we're going to let Robert Hunziker fill in the blanks that Rhett Butler at Manga Bay has been a little bit nervous talking about. And this is about the unrelenting drought clobbering the Amazon. <clears throat> this and uh, a few stories on the mainstream media but you know Robert has such a <laughs> he has such a special talent of placing you, you, you know the well, I'll call this the small picture but you know giving the big picture story about what's going on uh, so we're gonna head down to the Amazon rainforest and let Robert Hunziker tell us about the clobbering drought. Take it away, Robert. <clears throat> Global warming is consuming vast portions of the planet with a swagger that defies all expectations. Rivers in the Amazon rainforest are drying up this is not supposed to be happening to such an extent, even during the dry season. After all, it is a rainforest, famous, famous for sparkling dew, thick, wet fog with moisture dripping in midair, surrounded by an eerie stillness that is occasionally interrupted by a call, buzz, shriek, scuttle, or click. And so, so guys, I am not, he, he uh, Robert in this essay has a million links to others. I, I'm not going to list the source out of all of these. If you go on the link, you can follow, you know what I'm saying, click on all of his links and head down this rabbit hole. So, uh, we're, we're, we're not going to go through the sources of everyone. Okay, quote. This is quoting one of his, uh, one of these many studies. Quote, despite still being in winter, Brazil is expected to record one of the highest temperatures in the world this weekend. This was about a month ago comparable to places such as Iran and Iraq. A heat wave has affected all regions of the country and is mainly causing harm to the Amazon region, 
which is experiencing one of its driest periods in recent years. Well, as I say, this is already a uh, month old news. Uh, and it's, uh, as Robert will tell you, it's only gotten worse. <clears throat> Global warming enhanced drought has turned into a monster that has battered the Amazon rainforest every three to five years with a frequency and severity never before witnessed that puts into question the survivability of large portions of one of the world's major carbon sinks that's essential for meeting international targets to limit global warming established at Paris, which may already be passe. Do you think so, Robert? According to NASA, this is from 10 days ago, according to NASA, no, I'm sorry, this is uh, over three years ago, according to NASA, quote, the rainforest does not react like it used to. It does not have enough time between droughts to heal itself and regrow throughout all of recorded history, this has never been witnessed. Again, this was uh, four years ago. Uh, I, I'm sorry, two years ago. That was two years ago. It has gotten worse. And so this is from a story 10 days ago, going back a couple of years. In 2021, it was discovered that due to deforestation, parts of the rainforest started emitting more carbon than it held. I have been talking about that on Manga Bay, uh, about how the more and more of the Amazon rainforest, instead of sucking that carbon out of the air is now a net emitter of carbon. In only 50 years, 20% of the rainforest has been purposely destroyed. Scientists believe this is uncomfortably close to the breaking point when the forest collapses in on itself transitioning to a scrubby savanna. The worldwide implications are impossible to describe and likely horrifying. Likely horrifying. I, uh, I, 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 I like the way that, uh, that Robert Hun like Hunziker always, you know, puts a little bit of a qualifier. Uh, <laughs> likely horrifying. <coughs> NASA's great satellite system shows an Amazon in tenuous condition in an unprecedented state of breakdown. Grace has detected large areas of the Amazon classified as deep red zones with severely constrained water levels. Whereas, you, 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 you know, uh, th this is where, uh, you know, this is where Robert Hunziker really shines. Who else could have come up with this paragraph in the middle, in the middle of an article about uh, drought in the Amazon? This is why we love you, Robert. Whereas elsewhere in the world of normal everyday life, people wake up every morning in cities like LA, in New York City, and Atlanta, and Dallas, and go about daily routines. The same old, same old, hop into a new EV, motor the freeway to an underground parking garage, up an elevator 20 floors to air-conditioned offices for eight hours, and then reverse the process. 
these people do not live where climate change devastates ecosystems. Urban ecosystems mainly consist of concrete, asphalt, glass, and a sprinkling of flora. What's to harm other than people and the reality of an urban resident visualizing a failing rainforest is difficult. In their mind's eye, a rainforest landscape is like painting by numbers, a one-dimensional piece of fine art that only serves to fool the foolish. <laughs> Robert, that might be uh, my that, that might be my favorite Robert Hunziker paragraph ever written. I'm not sure what it has to do with the drought in the Amazon, but let's get back to the south of the equator. South of the equator, indigenous, indigenous tribal people, I, you know, Robert, I hate to break in uh, as a copy editor on your fine piece of journalism, there is no such thing, no such thing as an indigenous person in the Western Hemisphere, okay? There is no such thing as an American, an indigenous American or Western Hemispherean, but anyway, we know what you're talking about. You're talking about the first wave of human invaders from Asia that got here probably 50,000 years before Honky got here to back clean up. But anyway, I, I just can't help myself, guys, when I see such an abuse of the English language by a journalist and intelligent and as Robert Hunziker not understanding the definition of the word indigenous, but I will move on. <clears throat> South of the equator, dude, tribal people are desperately urging the national government to declare a climate emergency for survival. It, you know, it begs the question, what do these tribal people do before they had a national government to declare a climate emergency. Anyway, uh, life is brutal. Indigenous tribes need government help just to survive. Hmm. Indigenous tribes who, you know, these Asian invaders who lived there in the Amazon for how many tens of thousands of years need government help just to survive. Villages have no drinking water, food, or medicine due to brutal drought that is drying up rivers that are vital to travel in the rainforest. Drought, excessive heat, has killed thousands upon thousands of fish that they depend on, upon rivers have turned into muddy streams. Brazil is experiencing a more serious version of the unprecedented drought that nearly dried up Europe's famed rivers like the Rhine, Po, Loire, and Danube in the summer of 2022, demonstrating the overarching reach of this new, more pronounced cycle of global warming that is haunting the planet. APM, A-P-I-A-M, which is some Portuguese, uh, anyway, APM, an organization that represents 63 tribes, has reached out to the national government for help. After all, the tribes did not emit tons of CO2 into the atmosphere, causing global heat that's killing flora and fauna, as outsiders illegally burn vast swaths of rainforest 
to grow crops and raise cattle that's sent north. Frankly, the north-south juxtaposition demonstrates moronic neocolonialism to an extreme. And then he goes back to uh, quoting, uh, you know, other articles and studies uh, coming out recently. Here's one. The Rio Negro, the Solomos Madeira, Hurua and Puras rivers are drying up at a record pace and forest fires are destroying the rainforest in new areas in the lower Amazon reaches, APM said in a statement. Oh, and then we get to hear from good old Manga Bay, quote, the level of the Rio, this is, I guess, uh, yeah, I, I guess this is quoting Manga Bay that I touched on this story. The level of the Rio Negro is dropping by one meter, you know, three feet, every three days, so about a foot a day, something that has never been recorded before. Continuing with Manga Bay, the Madeira River to the southwest is no longer navigable in its upper reaches, isolating indigenous villages and non-indigenous communities, you know, the second wave of invaders in the Amazon, non-indigenous communities that rely on collecting fruit in the rainforest but cannot move their produce out. The smoke from forest fires is worse than ever, aggravating the climate crisis and affecting the health of the elderly and children. It is not just the El Nino current. Deforestation continues with the fires. The agricultural advance does not stop. They are destroying everything as if they do not see what is happening to nature. And I think that was from Manga Bay. <clears throat> In Amazona State, nearly 7,000 fires were reported in September alone, the second highest figure for the month since satellite monitoring began in 1998. And you're not going to read that in Manga Bay because Manga Bay is still in love with, with Lula. And Manga Bay is not reporting uh, that there were 7,000 fires in September. The second highest figure for the months that satellite monitoring began in 1998. We'll not hear that sentence in Manga Bay. It's not just indigenous tribes that suffer. Big ag companies, Cargill, Bunge, and Amagi are reducing, lo are reducing loads of grains on river barges as a precaution as several got stuck in the mud and the shipping logistics group Meller Mersk, you know that M-A-E-R-S-K, Mersk warned customers that navigation to Manaus, the largest Amazon city with a population of two million, is not possible. Uh, Mersk said uh, in a separate statement that severe drought has hit 60 of the 62 municipalities in Amazona State temporarily suspending, uh, you know, deliveries by ship to and from Manaus. Uh, this is quoting an AP article from October 8th. Quote, communities dependent on the Amazon rainforest waterways are stranded 
without supply of fuel, food, or filtered water. Dozens of river dolphins perished and washed up on shore, and thousands of lifeless fish float on the water's surface. These, this is from the AP story, these are just the first grim visions of extreme drought sweeping across Brazil's Amazon. The historically low water levels have affected hundreds of thousands of people and wildlife and with experts predicting the drought could last until early 2024, the problems stand to intensify. And I mean, this is just assuming that the rains return on schedule in early 2024. Uh, we shall see. Uh, going back to NASA, quote, our results show that overall the Amazon basis, basin is becoming almost neutral in terms of carbon balance, you, you know, going in, out and in, because deforestation, degradation, the impacts of warming, frequent droughts and fires over the past two decades release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Back to Robert, yet all of humanity depends upon the wonders of the rainforest to absorb and store carbon and release refreshing oxygen as well as its powerful hydrology system forming clouds and rain that travel as far away as the cornfields of Iowa. But the rainforest is stunted and beaten down onto her knees. This radical, abrupt change of the rainforest clashes with everything that Paris 15 stands for. Global warming has become public enemy number one. Yes. Will COP28 in Dubai, the, the COP out uh, 28 in Dubai, the big UN climate conference of nations coming up soon, do something constructive that helps the once spectacular Amazon rainforest? Or will it continue the well-worn cop-out tradition of all talk, no walk? And when is it too late? Nobody knows. It depends upon whether humans can exist in a sterilized world without nature's ecosystems for support. Thank you, Brother Robert Hunziker, for that refreshing dose of doom to close out this frosty night. But now that I've doom-mongered, I can uh, get the heater cranked back up. Anyway, get down there and enjoy the Amazon rainforest while you still can, guys. Because it is on its way out. The Amazon rainforest is doomed. Just thought I'd let you know. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. There's not one goddamn thing you can do about the Amazon rainforest being doomed. Bye, guys. Oh, heat.